Welcome back to On Two Wheels. So this is it. You're going out on this uh, this mean machine. Yeah, um, yeah, yeah. It'll be an interesting experience. You're not shitting yourself yet, though. Um, <laughs> no, I'm a little bit worried, but because I've got no idea what I'm doing, but I'm not. I'm, I'm one of those people that doesn't get fear. There's no, there's no brakes. No, there's no brakes. There's no gear levers. No. No, nothing. There's no 115 horsepower. I only got the clutch and the throttle. Having a dirt bike in six months, I'll be fine. So. Oh well, never mind. We'll see how you go, mate. As I built the revs up, yep. I could feel the, um, uh, it just did go a little bit easier, but yeah. the problem is I've worn my legs out now. Yeah, yeah, but yeah, just yeah. having that confidence my legs not going to give out on me. To hold up, hold yourself up. But, uh, see the thing that we do when we're racing, we actually grab the accelerator like that. Yeah. And when you're on the start line, it's on the stop. There's no stopping, there's no turning it off. Yeah. <laughs> Well, he seems to be getting faster. Now, Carly, tell me, you're you're uh, you're a speedway girl. Sure am. How long have you been doing it? Uh, I think I first had my first ride just before I was thirteen. Thirteen? My yep. God. So, how old are you now, if you don't mind me asking? Just turned 21, yes. What is your ambition? Well, at the moment, just having fun, really. Mm -hmm. um, it's one of those things, either you spend a whole lot of money and you go hard and you go to Europe, mm -hmm. or you can just have fun and, like any other sport, just get out there and enjoy yourself. Do you don't fancy going to Europe, then? Used to, but it's one of those things, if you don't nip it in the bud when you're sort of 16, 17, 18, time just gets away and... You sort of... You get too old? Yeah, you get too old. 21? Yeah. Too old? Yep. God, I feel ancient. <laughs> so, but you've been over east, I understand. Yeah, I've been over east. I did a full race season over in 2005, I think it was, over in Adelaide. I did, um, went to Victoria. Um, yeah, Gilman's a real good track over there. So yeah, just it was good to get some race meetings in, like because they sort of race two race meetings a weekend when we race once a fortnight here sort of thing. So. Mm. Do you race at Quinana as well? Um, I have done, not too much this season, um, but yeah, it's not a bad track. Good. So and I understand Corey's been taking you around a few different places as well. Yeah, Corey's looked after me. We went to um, Mildura last year, went on a bit of a road trip, and um, yeah, it was good. That, that, there's, there's some stories there, is there? Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we might have to have a word with Corey yeah. afterwards about that. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> yeah. So, you machine you're riding, what is it? Uh, 500cc Jawa, mm -hmm. pretty much as is. It's got a Finnettes and Carby on it. And what sort of horsepower are these putting out? Uh, well about, I thought it was like 80, but Corey reckons 115, so. 115? Yeah. So you've got to hang on. You've got to, oh, definitely. And we've just seen, we've just seen Simon going around now, and he just, it shows it, it's not easy. It isn't easy. It's one of those things though, just the more riding you get, the mm -hmm. easier it gets. Like, it's one, once you know, you know, and that's it, and you just work on that, so. Fantastic. I understand you're the, only girl racing in Australia? Yeah, as far as I know, I'm the only girl competitively racing. That's amazing. It's just one of those things though, it's like how many, I know a few girls get into motocross, but it's sort of a, a rare sport if you don't get sort of grown up with it or pushed into it or know someone that's in it, you don't that's know it. about it. I've got to ask, have, have you ever injured yourself? Sure have, um, a few times. Is this a list? Do we need to put a new no, tape in? No, it's not that bad. Um, Debut meeting when I was 16, did the collarbone. <laughs> that was pretty good. Um, 
broken my hand a couple of times. Yeah, pins. wrists and collarbones, from what I understand, are the most popular Pretty injuries. Pretty standard yeah. injuries, yeah. yeah. And knee injuries as well. Yeah. But you've been all right. No, I haven't done anything. You're walking pretty good at the moment. Sure am. Excellent. Yeah. Well, look, good luck and good luck with your racing. Thank and you we'll much. keep our eyes on you. Hi, Brad. How long have you been racing motorcycles? Um, when I was four. What, you started when you were four? Wow. And, and how old are you now? 20? Six. Is that all? My goodness. Do, do you want to be famous one day? Do you want to ride big motorcycles like we've seen just now? Yeah? You want to have a go at the 500s? Yeah? What bike are you riding at the moment? What CC? Pee Wee 50. Pee Wee 50. Do you reckon I could have a go? Don't laugh. Did you think I could? No? Would I, would I not be any good on it? No? Ah, all right then. So you race here at Wanneroo all the time, do you? So who, who brings you to racing? Um, my mum and dad. Your mum and dad. And they, they like you. Do they race? My dad does. Yeah, what does he race? Um, a 500. Have you had a go on it yet? Won't he let you have a go? He's boring, isn't he? That's not very good. You got a girlfriend yet? No? Oh, you, you, you probably will because all the, all the girls will see you right in there and they'll, they'll love you. They'll love you. So keep going with your motorcycles. So you're going you're gonna to be famous one day, are you? So we're going to look out for you, yeah? Good stuff. Well, thank you very much, Brad. Rightio, basically with Speedway, teaching the juniors to be safe because there's a fence on the outside and there's nowhere to go anywhere else except for into the other rider. The safe way to get away from the other rider is to lay the bike down. So you actually jump off the side of the bike and, and dig the handlebar into the ground and that actually stops you as quick as you can. Stops you quicker than head first into the fence. So if you see another rider in front of you that's crashed, you just quickly accelerate and, and drop the bike onto the floor. And, and what So this... we're going to make a six year old fall off a bike? Well he's only just turned six. So Are you alright over that? You can do that Brad? You can do it? He's going to do it. Look, he's going to do it. Yeah, yeah definitely going to do it. Okay. All right. Well, we'll, we'll watch you do it then, and you can show us how to do it, yeah? Well, there you go, mate. We, I can't, as a, as I a can't junior, believe we're going to make a, a as kid a, fall off a bike. You have to be taught this, otherwise you, otherwise you um, pretty much like that. Same as on your BMX, same as on your BMX, going down a hill, hitting the back brake and just turning it around. Oh, he's he's going to show us again. He's going to show you how to do it. Yeah, he's get his little bit of practice. There we go, you come down the straight. There's an accident in front of him, he's got to yeah, avoid it. he's got to avoid it. And exactly that's what like he does. That. Dig the foot peg into the ground and it stops you. Okay, six year old. Yep. Have we taught Simon to do that? Well, I was hoping to see him go the other way, but it didn't happen. No. No, no, no. No? No. Oh, what that, a shame. Yeah, yeah we'll, we'll get him out on the sidecar and we'll see how he goes there. <laughs> well, then he yeah. wiped his dad out. Yeah, that's so, so Simon's going to go on a sidecar? Yeah, we'll get him out there on a 1,000cc sidecar. See how he a goes. 1,000 cc. Yep, straight out of your road bike, GSXRs, R1s, all those sort of things. Yep, bolt straight into a sidecar, no brakes, oh, same again. Oh, this is just so much fun. Yep, so I go like here. Yeah. Like that. Yeah. Yeah. And hold on like, like fluff with that one. Yep. Yeah. No, that one there, that yours, yeah. Hold on like, and then just fall forward, yeah. yeah. Down onto there, yeah. Okay, but... Yep, yeah, and try and get your bum forward and everything. Yeah, like that. That's it. Now like you're that. onto it. Ah! Alright. Yeah. That'll be a stretch. We'll find out, um, won't we? Down. As long as you can get the bum down. Get bum down. Alright. Yeah. 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 Perfect. <laughs> yeah. Alright. Well, I could crash in the piss. Save me some trouble. I'm Ralph, mate. Simon, nice to meet you, Ralph. Good. Are you with HBF? Yeah, <laughs> I am, funnily enough. <laughs>
Ah. So, yeah. that was good. Brilliant. <laughs> oh. Hope it didn't slow you down too much. No, mate, that's fine. Oh. That was great. <laughs> Gets your blood pumping a bit, don't it? That sure does, it sure does. Once you can just get the hang of just weight back on the straights, obviously keep your traction on the back wheel. Yep. And then just getting it as far forward as you can. And, and you sort of watch the front wheel a bit. Yeah. And like what you want is you want it so it's going round with the wheel crossed up about there. Yeah. If it starts coming round like that, you need to get back. Yeah. And if I start straightening up or going understeer, yeah. you come forward a bit. Yeah, okay. So that's you want to be going round about there to there, you know, and it's just what? Beautiful. Well, we sincerely hope you enjoyed our day here at Barbagallo Raceway. It's pretty good, isn't it? Yeah, always great to see the boys out and about racing. Yeah. And uh, have a chat to them, see how they're going for the new year. Mm -hmm. and, and we'll be back here again for a small. Certainly will. Yep, yep. We'll try and keep me away. It's uh, closest thing we got to any sort of good racing over here in WA, and I enjoy watching it. And I've got to say, the Motorcycle Racing Club at WA, I mean, there's racing clubs around Australia, but these boys have really got it switched on. They really know what they're doing for here. For a group of volunteers, they do a real professional job. And it's certainly great to see them making an effort and seeing the same old faces back every year. They all obviously all enjoy their jobs because it's the same guys every year that you come up here, you see them and working their guts out. Probably the most professional setup I've ever, ever seen. Absolutely well, amazing. Well, and truly. Yeah. And we also hope you've enjoyed the high, uh, Rocket 3. Yeah, the Rocket 3 was good, and I hope you enjoyed the Speedway as well. Oh, yeah, don't mention the Speedway. Are we, you're going to really have a good go at that. I want to go back there now. I've got to get back there. I've you got have to, to get be, that after... thing crossed up and sideways. And... After being beaten by a 13-year-old. Yes, and a, and, and a girl. girl. And a girl, yeah. Corey's just said, yeah, yeah, and a girl as well. Yeah, got to watch out for the yeah, Carly. And you got beaten by Corey. Yeah, you know, our very own stick. That's all right. We'll give Corey a shot on the. Well, I'll race Corey on a posty bike. We'll see who wins then. Yeah, I bet only one of us completes the race. He's not very good at posty bikes. No, is not he? at all. No, no. No. Anyway, we hope you enjoyed the show. We'll see you again next week. On Two Wheels is brought to you by the following sponsors. Visit the On Two Wheels website for some giveaways.